Hello Hayes Middle School, this is Marie Henderson. In this video, we're going to learn to import previously created content to our new Canvas course shell now that we have our own copy of the template. So I'm here in that copy that I showed you how to make in the last video, and I'm ready to import some of the content I've created previously to this course. So I'm gonna navigate here to settings at the left, and at the right, there's a button that says import course content. So I'm gonna click on that, and I want to select from this dropdown, copy a Canvas course, and I want to put in the name of that course here in the little box. So if you are looking for a shell that we created together in preparation for the upcoming semester, if you just type the word shell, you may end up with a shorter list. You can also type fall 2020, as that will give you just the courses that you've previously listed as fall 2020. As the administrator, of course, I have access to, at this point, thousands of courses so that doesn't work especially well for me. So I'm actually going to type my name here so that I can get to just the courses that I have created. So I'm going to go here to a course where I have some content that I want to show you how to pull in and select it from the list and then I don't want to get all the content. Even if you think you want absolutely everything, please don't click all content. I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Please select specific content. And then if you're a person who adjusts due dates, you've already done that when you made this shell to begin with. Uh, so I would not check this box here to adjust events or due dates. And then we're gonna click to import and we're gonna have the option to select that specific content. So here's why we wanted to do this. If you pull in all the content from a course, it overrides the course settings that are in the course you're pulling it into. And you don't want to override the homepage settings that I've already created for you in this new template course. So don't pick course settings here and don't pick syllabus body. All right, so you're gonna pull in maybe some modules, assignments. If you've previously built quizzes or question banks, you probably wanna bring those in. Maybe there's a few pages from a previous course that you wanna bring in, probably not your homepage, unless you have information on that page that you want to copy and paste into the new homepage, which might be a reason to bring it in, although you could just copy and paste from one course to another course if it's something in a rich content editor situation. So any pages that have content you are needing to use here in your new template course. And so also possibly any external tools that you were using. If you don't know what I mean by external tools, you're probably not using any. And then if there are events on the calendar that you want to bring in, you're welcome to do that as well. I would definitely encourage you to bring in any or all files. So we're gonna click here to select content. And then this is gonna run for a little bit, depending on how much you bring in is how much time it takes to do that. Of course, also your internet connection determines the speed at which that is completed. So you're gonna get a completed button and or a completed but with errors button. Probably a link is broken and I'll teach you how to fix that in a later video. So now then, if I go here to my list of assignments, once I'm ready to start linking content in my new agenda page, I have a bunch of assignments already created that were part of my previous year's work and I'll be able to use those. Similarly with modules, I brought in some modules here and now I can link those on my agenda page when I'm ready to start adding things for students to access. So none of the content from my previous year's has gone to waste. As always, if you have questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks and have a great day.